Jim, our next question, sent the corny drive through at gmail.com from Julian in Greenville, South Carolina. In a recent interview, Chris Jericho explained why death matches are good for wrestling and discussed the spot where he broke his nose. I find it ironic that Jericho's whole gimmick is making fun of pro wrestling and making it look fake, yet he thinks the death matches add credibility to the business. And I have wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that his, his comment was they add credibility? Well, no, that was the emailer saying that. But hold on, I have an article here from Fightful.com by Jeremy Lambert. Jeremy? And I guess he's referencing something else. This is from Comic Book. Here's the quote. You just go, fuck, that hurt. <laughs> Matches like that one we just had are probably good for the wrestling business because it lets people know that it's uh. not just all fun and games. Oh, God. Oh, man. that stuff isn't real. They don't really hit each other. Then you literally get bashed in the nose with the leg of a chair. You could see it. It was just an accident. But when it hit my nose, I thought for sure it was broken. <laughs> it wasn't as badly broken as I thought. It was more just cracked and cartilage <laughs> and that sort of thing. Still, as long as you can still move, breathe, and see, it's just a part of the job. If it's on TV, at least we'll get some shots in it. And it's probably good for the business in the long run. Shots of it, excuse me. And it's probably good for the business in the long run. It doesn't feel good the next day. Are those matches, the match he had, is that good for wrestling in any way? No, 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 no. Because, number one, I can understand it used to be that's every time you got a black eye or you got busted open, you got some stitches, what a visual inju injury, the old timers would say, well, it's good for the business. People be able to see that. You go out on TV with a black eye, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Can't fake that. The problem is when, when they have these garbage matches and it's so obviously in front of you visually that this is a fake bunch of bullshit that they're cooperating with each other to do shit that nobody would ever do, that doesn't look real, that it, you can see the cooperation, and that is bogged down in human stunt showville. Then somebody gets hurt doing that. And if Jericho's saying, well, a bunch of people say, oh, that's fake, and they really don't get hurt. Well, then they see Jericho doing obviously choreographed fake shit with another guy, and he really gets hurt. And they must go, well, Jericho ain't very good at that because he got hurt. Which, by the way, they had to call that spot. They Jericho didn't just jump up and do a code breaker to Kingston while he had a chair up in the air going to swing it. It was a called spot. And I can't imagine that neither one of them didn't think, well, what's going to happen to that fucking chair when Jericho jerks me down forward? I'm already going that way anyway. But nevertheless, no, it helps the business's credibility when the work is good enough and safe but snug enough and makes sense enough that you can't see through it and you're not sitting there and going... Why the fuck would that guy do that stupid thing out of the blue that didn't make any sense? And if a an errant potato does land in the pot and you've got a black eye or whatever to show for it, all the better. But if you come out with a black eye or a swollen fucking testicle or cut from asshole to appetite off of barbed wire that you were rolling around in... It still looked like a fake match. You just weren't good enough to not get hurt doing fake shit. So I look at it completely differently and more logically than Jericho does. And of course, Jericho thinks it's good for wrestling. Every bad thing he's done over the last several it. years, yeah. he's not thought any of that was bad. He thinks everything he does, he thinks is good. Uh, but at least in this case, it wasn't as painful when he was doing dinner theater and dance routines. Now he's trying to do the hardcore shit with the Deathmatch Boys. Frank Sinatra doing Gigi Allen. 